Do you want to do animated feature and then sure. wrap it up? Okay, animated feature. We had Boss Baby, Breadwinner, Coco, Ferdinand, and Loving Vincent. Coco definitely won. Now, I thought Coco was fantastic. It was definitely Pixar's. You know, they've had a couple of um, mediocre movies, way too many Cars movies, you know, with the, the good dinosaur. There's definitely been a few misfires. Um, this one I thought was like classic Pixar, back to form. Uh, it just made you tear up, made you feel, and it was just a really good uh, movie. And also, what I liked about it, too, it, it did that perfect mix of um, showing um, the culture of Mexico, but not, like, throwing it in your face, like, see, we're giving you a diverse movie. We're giving you a movie about Mexican culture. No. It was a great story about family, and it just happened to have the backdrop of Mexican culture and Day of the Dead and all those things. And it just it really put everything together nicely. So I, th I felt it really deserved it. You know, Pixar wins this category a fair amount of years, uh, but it definitely deserved it this I year. I thought it was scary. Yeah, yeah. Too many skeletons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it because I'm a grown-up. But uh, yeah, I yeah. heard and really good children. things. <laughs> yes. I heard <laughs> some. No, I used to think Pixar made the best movies in the world. I yeah. Absolutely up. I mean, all, all that stuff. The, uh, and then You'll the, like this one then. The Cars stuff kind of, I was like, I, I didn't even go see Cars. I was just like, all right, that's when they kind of lost me. You know what I mean? That I'm was right. made for, to, to buy Merch for five year old yeah, boys. Yeah. That's okay. what those movies And were. to build part of a theme park. But I, but I <laughs> did hear really unbelievable things about Coco. So I yeah. would love yeah, to see it. I want to see it as well. It is good. It's one of the few few times I've. Now, Boss Baby, let's talk about that. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> here's the thing you don't understand. I can't believe I, when we were doing the Oscar preview, I'm like, oh, I'm the only one who's seen Boss Baby. And Doug's like, no, I've seen it. I'm like, really? How did you see it? But, the, but yeah. this is the thing it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's also the boss. Oh, yes. Oh, my okay. God. Okay. okay. Now, see, hear me he, out. If he, you went to he's work. He's in a suit. Say you go to work. You walk in, and they're like, hey, the boss wants to see you. You're like, oh, my God. I'm getting called on the carpet. What's going to happen here? You walk in the door. Bassinet goo goo rattle. What the fuck, man? It's a, wow. it's a goddamn baby. <laughs> I've never had. Everyone. I've never, I've never had a real job, so I can't identify. <laughs> I forgot you're in the proletariat. I really... <laughs> ah, the proletariat. You, you, you've never had a baby, boss? You never know. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, I... this episode brought to you by Trotsky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. When you've got to get somewhere quickly. All right. Well, I, I, I heard it with an axe. That yeah. is a yeah. supersized episode. That...